Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel Kotzen. I'm Dennis and today we're going to steer off a little bit from my normal and I'm not going to do a how-to uh, video but I, what I'm going to do today is kind of introduce y'all for the ones who don't know and the ones who do know is great to a uh, competitor of Cloudflare and what, as y'all know I'm a, a very big fan of open light speed and cyber panel and uh, LS cache so uh, I've been doing a lot, some reading and stuff and what I want to do is uh, get y'all's input and see if y'all want to do more videos on this but I want to talk about today is quick dot cloud quick q u i c dot cloud and I'm, I'm I'll just take you to their home page and this is their home page now this product here is a competitor to cloud cloudflare on you know of course cloudflare is a lot older and a lot more established but i believe actually this is going to be end up a good competitor to it i'm hoping i'm right in this don't backfire but there are this is made by the same team that made your cyber panel that made your uh light speed and also the LS cache and, and they're all integrated together. So if you're using all their products, this is just a, another piece of it that will help speed up your website and make a better performance website on it. Instead of having two or three different plugins for this, a plugin for that, uh, Word for Cloudflare for that. Also, I'm just gonna say this to y'all, that uh, Cloud or Quick, and I'm, I'm I'll just take you to their homepage, and this is their homepage. Now this product here is a competitor to Cloud Cloudflare. You know, of course, Cloudflare is a lot older and a lot more established. But I believe actually this is going to be end up a good competitor to it. I'm hoping I'm right in this. Don't backfire, but. There are this is made by the same team that made your cyber panel, that made your uh, light speed, and also the LS cache, and, and they're all integrated together. So, if you're using all their products, this is just a, another piece of it that will help speed up your website and make a better performance website on it instead of having two or three different plugins for this a plugin for that uh word for cloudflare for that also i'm just going to say this to y'all quick dot cloud is also a dns server so it's just like cloudflare it's a proxy cdn server and a dns resolver and i've just recently signed up for it i'm going to do more and i just want if y'all want to do more video on it comment below let me know what I, you want to do and we're definitely going to do that one, but I'm going to spend about just a few minutes and show you what I'm talking about. Now, what is uh, Quick.Cloud? It basically, it is a another instance for, let me go to Lightspeed. Here's, I'm on Lightspeed, y'all. Y'all see this? We know that's the, the server side of your website, your back-end server. But if you go down and look here, it, it tells you about all their products. You got your... Fast built-in cache for their Lightspeed web server or Open Lightspeed, which is the free one. We got the LS cache. If anybody ever been on, you can actually download this for any WordPress website. You don't have to have Cyber Panel or anything like that. But if you got Cyber Panel, everybody knows when you go click that WordPress website, it automatically installs LS cache. And their third product they're offering is their Quick Dot Cloud. See. And again, this is a DNS resolver, also just like Cloudflare. Now, they're not as big as Cloudflare, they're not as established as Cloudflare. They got less, I think, like 69 point of presence or POP, where Cloudflare has probably got over 200 and something at least. So, but I think 69 different points of presence all over the world, still quite a bit for a young company. And that, what I like about it, not just because I like their product, which I do, is that the integration one kind of reminds me kind of like apple and i'm not an apple fanboy trying to say but if you don't make the hardware the software everything it seems like you can optimize it better to perform better than if you have to use 
Intel for this, AMD for that, Windows, Chrome, you know, y'all get the picture. So this here is making me very happy. Now, again, they got three different products, and I'm going to take you back to their homepage, and if y'all want to read up on them, it's a good thing. And I'm going to make some uh, videos on this. I just want to get y'all's uh, input on it. And, of course, you know, it's powered by Quick. You know, Quick was developed by Google back in uh, around about 2012, released in 2013. It's supposed to be a uh, predecessor to the or to help the HTTP2 version. You know, you got your HTTP1, HTTP1.1, and then HTTP2. Now they coming out with the new ones is the HTTP3. And as y'all already know, Cyber Panel and Light, and of course, uh, Lightspeed already uses HTTP3. They they support that protocol. And of course, it's powered by Quick, and Quick uses UD, uh, UDP instead of TCP for data transmission. It's kind of like a protocol for uh, you know, transmission of data and stuff. So this is supposed to be a better way of multiplexing and packing. Of course, you know we use the light speed cache as part of it. They do static content, but here's the fun. Here's the good part. They cache it or CD in your dynamic content. Now that is something that is hard to get any CDN or proxy CDN server. And there are 69 point of presence in, in not only the static, but dynamic contents. It's, that's an awesome thing. You can't hardly find too many that out there do it. Now, uh, my understanding is Cloudflare uh, is actually kind of getting that going. I think they offer a plugin called WP something Cloudflare that helps. Again, they got DDoS attack packaging. And this is what I like here, y'all, this. SSL encryption that just like Cloudflare they you sign up I, I tried this I, I didn't encrypt anything of mine left it unsecure as soon as I got uh, I changed over my DNS I now let there be there my DNS resolver there's my CDN and as soon as uh, I got it all up running which didn't take long they went on and gave me some let's encrypt just same as Cloudflare or whatever similar, let's encrypt uh, SSLs, and they automatically updates it for me in the future. So that's good. So they're keeping everything secure fast. And what the biggest part about this is that, of course, it shows here that, well, they went just yesterday, they had 69 point of presence. So now look, they're at 70. So they're, they're going through these point of presence pretty quickly. So... For a young company, as young as they are, this is good. And if you go down through here, you do read more up to this, but I'm not going to spend that much time on it. Of course, you know Cloudflare. And this is Cloudflare's kind of alternative that they got for your WordPress. It's the uh, WP Cloudflare Super Page Cache. And would help do the way I'm understanding some of their CDN. But, of course, you this is, uh, I guess, by another company called Optimo or something. I'm not sure exactly. But you're using different ser different services from different companies, and, and it's you know kind of like a Windows used to be. You got to use a Dell with the Windows, with the Intel, with the AMD, with a just different product where you can use one solid one. And again, let me take y'all to the website of uh, me already already signed in, as you could tell. And let me tell you this: it's free for a certain extent. But then after that, if you go on the standard plan, you've got that option to buy what they call tokens. It don't appear to be much, and I think you've got to use quite a bit in order to get, you know, get to that point. But you could, they got a free plan, a standard plan, and the standard plan, they give you all that stuff for free that they get the free plan, plus you get more. And if you run out of whatever they call bandwidth, you can always... Purchase that's the only difference now. Cloudflare has always been free, always will be. Here, I think for most people, you'll never get to that where you uh, use all their bandwidth, but I think it's pretty cheap. As you can tell, it's got all my stuff up and running. I love their the way that everything looks. Let's go to CDN. As you can tell, it's, I'm using their DNS server. Let me, let me just go through here. So you see this, I got their CDN in use. 
I changed over everything, so they're my DNS uh, servers now, and that, of course, they will auto-renew my stuff in 72 days. I love that, that they take care of that. And they, they keep me updated of uh, how many credits I got, how many is remaining. And as y'all could tell, I'm, I'm on their standard plan. Now, I didn't choose this. They put me on it. And I can tell you why I think their reasoning for that is. And, of course, here's your free plan, in which it comes with six point of presence, which is still a lot, but, nothing, and, but it don't come with no DDS protection, but it don't cost you nothing, and it's unlimited. Now, when you go to these uh, other plans, and, and, of course, it would tell you different prices right here after you go over your thing, how much it credits it is. And, and you got to look on that, and I will too. But they got me on the standard plan, and here's the thing, y'all. If you got a basic a WordPress site and you don't use CyberPanel, you use something different, SAC panel, Plask, or whatever, you, you, if you're on the free tier or whatever, you automatically get placed on basic. If you got, like I do, CyberPanel installed, and I use their open light speed, they're going to automatically upgrade you to this particular free one. See, again, instead of having 10 credits free, which, you know, 10 credits is so much, uh, matter of fact, here it is. It tells you 10 credits is equivalent to one gigabyte of traffic. So I got five gig of light speed credit, which is a lot. If you're on their enterprise version, you even get more credit. But that, it automatically noticed that I was on their light speed server, so it automatically put me on this particular one, and that's good. I like that. But let me go to this. I love the way this page is. It's so much simpler than Cloudflare's to me. You know, Cloudflare's a good product. I'm not knocking it all a bit. I'll use them. They're nice. They're good. And, of course, as you can tell, the status, I love that it tells me everything okay. I love the way it looks. And uh, I'm in standard. Tells me how many of the fast. And I think that's it. The fast queue is called. I think when you use so much optimization or something. And if you don't buy any more tokens, you still get cashed or something. You just don't get this fast queue cash. And it tells me all about what we need to do in order to do anything on it. Again, I haven't read enough on it right now. I'm just got started. So I want you to comment. And tell me what you want me to do about what you want me to do, a, a how-to video, and I will get it done for us. And the only reason I'm telling you about this, I'm kind of excited about it. And I, uh, I know there's a lot of people that go to my channel that, that's into this kind of stuff. So I want y'all to be aware of it just in case you're not. And, of course, you see when I go to the different uh, web pages or stuff, it just, it just tells me, it keeps me updated on everything. But let me go back over here to CDN. Let me see. There we go. Of course, it says I used one tenth of a percent. Okay. Of course, my website is still under construction. But when I get it fixed, I'm going to introduce y'all to my website. Don't worry about that. But we go to this. There was something I was wanting to show y'all that it actually will let you see. Yeah, here it is. Full check. Full statistics. I like this. Uh, if you're on the standard plan, you get up to a one year of full statistics, uh, anal analytics, and man, it tells you all kinds of stuff. I got to figure out some of this. How many point of presence, where it's hitting at, how much you use. Like I live Central Amer uh, United States, so Dallas is close, Atlanta's close. And that's where most of my services, I guess my customers is hitting it from those area. Uh, off that, you know, of course, Japan, New York, you know, it just, it, and it'll break it down into an actual, if you go in here and you can see that, and that's what I like too. And it, and it tells you like regional bandwidth, if it's North America, how much, in Africa, uh, Middle East, you, you name it. And I like that the way it breaks everything down for you. It tells me how many requests I got, how many dynamics, cacheable, you know, just different things. And so this is one of those things, uh, y'all should go and look at it, see what you think. Of course, y'all know Lightspeed is very into the HTTP3. Well, guess what? It seems like most of my stuff is hitting off of HTTP3. Of course, if somebody's web browser that they're using or their service is not compatible with HTTP3, 
it automatically go down to the two, which most people is, but it, I like it that it's using the newest technology out there. And of course, you know, uh, any t attacks that it mitigated or whatever the kind it be. And it even tells you about, you know, the percentage of requests you're getting, how many is secure, how many is not. So this is something that I just wanted to kind of introduce it to y'all. Y'all comment below. Let me know what y'all want to do.